Welcome back. So, it's been a couple of days since the last footage that we shot today. I got a little, hey guys. hopefully, good luck charm. Last time he was out with us, we were up at the barn site. That's when I found that two cent piece. So we'll see how much luck he really brings to us. And we'll uh, hopefully find some more cool relics. But, uh, you know, we'll uh, do what we do and dig. Just glad to be back digging. It's been way too hectic so far. Now that the weather's kind of settled down and it's not a million degrees and I'm not working 24-7, sorry about that. We're gonna dig. We're gonna dig everything. Hopefully we'll uh, get something. Something cool. But we'll show you what we get. Okay. Well, that was a bust. Didn't find anything. But just didn't look in the right spot. But we're gonna hit it tomorrow. And uh, we'll be with Ben. Maybe we can get some other people out with us. Maybe Jeremiah again? Maybe Jeremiah, maybe Ryan, but we'll see. But see you on the next one. Okay, so we didn't end up going out yesterday. It was a total wash, rained all day. Too hey wet for the detectors and stuff. I got my mini me with me. <laughs> more, and, like, uh, more like I have a mini me of my mom. Oh, I don't know. So we're gonna try to jump in between uh, showers today. And we'll, uh, I'm gonna hit up that rock wall area, goes up the hill. See what we can find along there because, as you remember from the beginning of this video, me and Jen hit the rock wall that went out towards the river. We found that old lantern top. When I get home, I'll uh, show you more of that and stuff. It was actually pretty cool. We scrubbed it up, found a lot of detail on that, and uh, I'll tell you all the history on that one. But, uh, well, let's see what we find on this rock wall. Hopefully some cool stuff. Still looking for that infamous Croto Bell. That is on our uh, bucket list. It's on the top of it. Trying to find that thing. It's like our white white whale. And uh, maybe today's the day. Well, we'll keep you updated. Hey guys, here's the uh, recap on that lantern top we found. It's, uh, company is Holmes, Booth, and Hayden. It says Patton, January 24th, 1860. You rarely find them with the patent date legible on them. He even still has a little bit of the cloth wick. So, these uh, were kerosene toppers, and they're mostly made out of brass. So, for them to come out of the ground and look this well and be able to be legible is just super crazy. So... Well, on to the next find. Okay guys, so I was coming down the lip and I came into the corner here, started digging through. I'm still digging out this bottle, so hopefully I can get the full thing and stuff. And I'm sifting through the dirt. Found an old porcelain button. You know, so I'm finding some shards of poor uh, dish and everything. I'm wondering if this was where they kept dishes or um, bottles or some other stuff. But I'm going to keep sifting through this and see if we can get that bottle out and what else we find. But hey, it's a button. It's, it's definitely not plastic. So... Definitely a porcelain or glass button. 
which is cool. Keep you updated. Okay guys, so we got that bottle out. It says Coca-Cola. But the interesting part is when we tip it on the bottom. Summersworth, New Hampshire. There hasn't been a Coke plant in Summersworth since the early, early 1900s. So, they definitely probably kept, like, all their bottles or had a shelf somewhere in this corner. And be when the mill burned down, or the barn burnt down, probably got caught in this cave-in and everything, but that's a pretty cool find and stuff. It's not metal or anything, but it definitely dates back and it's pretty old. So, that's pretty cool, guys. So, yeah, definitely something in this corner and stuff. Just found a baby file. That's not even that big. It's a really little one. So they must have had a cabinet or cupboard or something down here. We're going to keep sifting through this corner and see what else we can find. But, uh, hey, it's turned out to be a pretty good day. Even though it's not coins and stuff like that, we're still finding some cool relics. So I dug down more and stuff. Found these two. They're license plates. i got to clean them up. And, uh, pretty sure that says New Hampshire, but... They didn't have, they had license plate that said NH up until I think the 30s. So I hope I can get a date off these and then we'll uh, see. Maybe this was uh, a dump site or something, but we'll find out. Find some old cool stuff in this corner, but uh, it's getting time. Got to head home, get ready for the next thing, but uh, we'll keep trucking and I'll uh, catch you back up on what we clean up with uh, this stuff so worked for the beginning of the morning then got a phone call Hello. and Ben wanted us to go out we've done some stuff so we got me Ben my son, and Tina. We're gonna go detecting, we're gonna do some exploring, we're gonna do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So far, it's been a great morning. We found a Lamborghini. Yeah, we've uh, encountered a Lamborghini, which is rare up here in uh, New Hampshire, because usually the roads suck. So, the place we're gonna go is uh, an old- Actually, where Tina went mall yep. detecting with me and Jeremiah. Yeah. So, that's the location that we're gonna be going. So, we'll uh, get a recap of that and everything, and hopefully find some good stuff. So far, the day's been good, so yeah. we'll... Uh, Weather's holding out. Hey, as long as we get pull relics out of the ground, it's a good day. Yep, there so, goes the Lamborghini. Yep, <laughs> so. Maybe yeah, we'll try some magnet fishing, too. Yeah, there is an area for that. So, okay. Okay, so that first site was a little bit of a dud. A bunch of square nails and shotgun shells. So, uh, Ben's got an idea. Yeah, I have a permission for an 1800s house from my coworker. So, we're gonna go and do. Let's see if we can get something there. But, uh, the hunt continues. I'll show you what we got. Okay, so we're at this permission that Ben got. And, uh, digging around. Let's see what we got. So I was able to dig up a knife and it has a wooden handle. Some of it's still intact on it. So knife's a little chewed up, but uh, it was... looks like a little pocket knife too. Yeah. So cool. Good find at our new area. Yeah. Let's see what else we bring up. What's going on guys? Welcome back. So we had to cut yesterday's hunt short. I got toned out. So Ben dropped me off at the station and he went home. 
but uh, today we're going out for a quick hunt, me and John, and uh, we're going to hit up the barn site, we're going to do some, uh, just some uh, pinpointing and some sifting in the corner and along the ledge, see what we can get. Uh, last time we were in there it looked like some uh, junk from some uh, cars, a little bit of glass bottles and stuff. So. We're just gonna try to sift through all the junk and see if we can find some cool relics further down. So, we'll uh, show you what we get and everything, and uh, we'll see you out there. Okay guys, so, got our first hit, and it's, it's a coin. We'll uh, clean it up and stuff a little. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be my first Indian, but I'll uh, I'll try to clean this up a little more and stuff, and we'll uh, see what we got. But uh, yeah, I don't know what it is even. I think it might be a penny or something, but okay. Hey, I'll take it. It's a coin. Hopefully, it's old. I'll keep you updated. Look who came to join us. Hello, bingo! <laughs> so, I got a coin, now oh, Ben's got a coin. Yeah, it rang up 42 or a quarter at first, and then I moved all the brush and then it went down to iron. And then mm. I've cleaned it up a little bit more and then it came up to nickel tone. And I was just digging to get the stuff out and it just plopped right out of the ground just like this. So let's extract and let's see if we can get some detail off of it. Yeah. Okay. Wow, it's pretty thick. It is. Looks like a nickel. I have no idea. No, it's the size of a penny though. But <laughs> We'll have to get back to you once I get it cleaned up, but it is fat, so, so we'll uh, get it cleaned up and get back to you. Yeah. So we cleaned it up. Okay. Ben, what do you think you have? What do I think I have? I have confirmed it's a eagle scent. <laughs> Flying eagle. And those are minted from... <laughs> I don't know, you looked it up. It was 1950... <laughs> no, 18. 1856. 1856 to 1858. So. Yeah. And then we looked up my coin that I got. It's a Civil War token. Uh, Army plus Navy from 19, 1861 to 1864. So there's no actual date on it. So today we got two bucket listers yeah. and Still old coins. To the date on mine. So we'll get you pictures of those and then uh, we'll see what else we get. <laughs> Okay guys, I gotta go back home and do that stuff everyone doesn't want to do in adult. But, we had a great time. Really stoked about those old coins and stuff uh, that Ben found and I found. And, you know, uh, I guess that's it for this weekend. We'll uh, see you on the next hunt. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and uh... We'll see you on the next one. Comment what your favorite part was. Okay, here it is, guys. It's an Army and Navy Civil War token. They were minted from 1861 to 
1865. This one doesn't have a date, but the majority of them were 1863. Uh, I couldn't find too much information on them. If you have any information or have seen one, dug one, comment on the link below and everything. And uh, just, this is a crazy coin to find up here in the north. So, we'll uh, keep hitting that uh, barn site up and uh, see what else we can get out of there.